into a lapse. Um, so we are now back in Melbourne. The last few days of Cairns I started to not feel too great. So not a lot really happened other than me going to the lagoon and chilling out. So I'm very sorry about that. Um, yeah, we're now in Melbourne. I flew here yesterday morning. Um, we've got all day today, all day tomorrow. And then we fly home on Thursday, back to the UK. How crazy is that? That is so crazy to me. Like I've been gone for three and a half months and now I'm going home. I look horrific. And um, it's actually quite cold in Melbourne. So we've got a jumper, we've got leggings and we've got donkey dunks because it's freezing. Yesterday I was in cycling shorts and I was so cold. So I'm not making up mistake again, but the sun looks like it's partially out today. I'm gonna go and try and quickly book a Phillip Island tour for tomorrow. Very last minute, very last minute. So let's hope and pray that there's space. So let's go and do that. And then let's head to the Queen Victoria Market because you know your girl loves it there. So we've just come to Victoria Market, Queen Victoria Market. I managed to get booked onto the Phillip Island tour tomorrow, but I get back at midnight. I've got to be at the airport at four. Haven't really thought that through, but we're gonna go with it anyway, so. Yeah, let's go to the market now. I need coffee. Let's go get coffee. Mm. A little outback hat. Mm. Those are real boys, look. I bloody love a market and I bloody love Melbourne. Coffee secured. Here's the stir at a stall, I tell you. I'm done. Yeah! <laughs> Bye -bye. Yeah, I'm getting rid of her. Um, I've just tried on a ridiculous amount of hoodies. Just, just in the middle of the stall, don't you worry. And I then mess up my words. And yeah, so I'm trying on all these like jackets and stuff. And then he was like, oh, it's okay. Like, I've never had anyone strip in the shop before. I then go, at least I've entertained you. It's a free service. Basically made myself out like I'm some I'm sorry, stri stripper or something. So, go on, Shah. Nice one. Anyway, coffee. Hasn't even kicked in yet. It's a room for a day, because as soon as this kicks in, it's going to get worse. I've done so much walking, so we've stopped for lunch. We are at the in Infinite. Let me see. The Infinite Cafe. And it looks really cool. It looks like a cartoon. Look. Infinite World. There it is. So yeah, we're just going to eat some food and then maybe head to Hosea Lane and the Botanical Garden. Very excited. Oh my god, look what I managed to get my hands on. Let me eat. Wonderful. Great angle, great lighting. I am. Hold on. I can't even get it out. Well, most of it's in here. The John Kerr and the Bronze Drops and the Bows. I got Hugo the cutest um, harness and lead but stop it. Like from all of us. We need matches, I'll show you.
we're just walking to the loom now which is like it's the world's largest digital art gallery but i will find that out for you i'll get the facts and i'll come back to you i think it's the world's largest though so we're heading there if i don't get lost first <laughs> i've already had to re-divert because my phone was being silly and mr google doesn't know that roads are closed so you can see me i've been circling this convention center for literally 20 minutes not realizing that that's exactly where i've got to be honestly i don't know how i get myself dressed in the morning because basically I'm going to Phillip Island tomorrow my phone is very rude um, I go to Phillip Island tomorrow and I don't get back till midnight and I have to leave for the airport at 3am so I kind of need to sleep as well do you mind? Um, so I wanted to be packed tonight so that tomorrow I could enjoy my trip and not be panicking about all the things I've got to do and then if the coach is delayed coming back or anything I can literally run in, grab myself and go you know prepared um hopefully i can run in have a couple of hours sleep then go who knows um so i'm gonna make sure i do the big shower hair wash everything tonight and then have a quick shower tomorrow when i get back from the trip because i've got a 23 hour travel day stop it look at this what is that disgusting is what it is but i've got a nail appointment friday at home it's so crazy like in three days time, I'll be out with all of my best friends. What? Two days time, I'll be sat with my mum. Stop it. I haven't been home in so long. I'm so excited to see everyone. And then, at the end of next week, I've got a bit of an exciting little trip. I'm going to see somebody. I eat in my hair. I'm going to see somebody that you all love I mean the reception from the vlogs this person is in you love her so I'm so excited so yeah that's happening next week so don't you worry there's another travel vlog coming and then the week after that is no two weeks after that is my birthday so I'll have a birthday vlog and then the two the week after that I'm going to Ireland for a wedding so you know your cows just Jet sitting, go get in. Um, and I'm gonna start weekly vlogging. So there's gonna be vlogs all the time now. You stuck with me, you stuck with this face. And if you don't like it, get off my channel. Thanks. Anyway, procrastinating. I'm gonna go quickly pick up some food uh, and some snacks for the bus tomorrow. And then maybe shower and head to bed because it's very late. Love you all.
Good morning everyone. Today is the last day of the trip. How sad. Um, so I'm going to go and try and get something to eat now and then we're going to go to Phillip Island on a day trip. So come along with me. Everything's all packed up. Hey, gorgeous. Another one. Oh, so good. Me and getting me breakfast. That was you guys once upon a time, Mike and Ewan. You guys made each other nervous. Not anymore. Go, Belinda. It's the same with anyone who's been like, together long enough. <laughs> you better run, you better take cover. Those initial butterflies play. <laughs> with everyone, happens to the best. Here we go, guys. Traveling in Brussels. Brussels. Six foot four, I'm full of muscle. Yeah. 